Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, let's learn how to get the value of the iframe tag from beautiful soup. So firstly, let's see what an iframe tag is. So this is a demo web page. If you see, it contains two iframes, this one and uh, this one over here. Now, within these two iframes we are displaying the values or uh, we are displaying the web pages from some other websites so iframes are basically used to embed the web page from embed different web pages or you can also embed maps or videos using iframes so uh, have a look at this website so if you see this is a map which is embedded within the website and if you see this is an iframe here so have a look at it it is an iframe so to embed maps in your websites you will need iframes or to embed videos in your websites you will need iframes so let's see how this iframe tag looks like and its attributes so let's uh, right click on it and uh, let's say inspect so when we inspect this we can see that there are two iframe <coughs> tags so when you open an iframe tag you see that there is a hash document that is you are embedding a particular document here now when you open this tag you can see that this is nothing but a complete html page itself so if you see this is the uh, if you open wikipedia.org the main page and when you inspect the page source there you can see the same html code so that is they are embedding this particular web page as a document within the iframe so now let's learn how to fetch the contents from the iframe directly to do this uh, in the script we'll first have to install the beautiful soup library and the import requests library after installing them we have to import this so to import a beautiful soup we say from bs4 import beautiful soup and uh, import requests to imp import the request library for now we're just working on our demo html so it's available locally so request is not needed so here we are uh, telling uh, we are opening the html file and uh, we are reading the html file and parsing it into a soup object so now let's try fetching all the iframe uh, elements from it so i'll say iframes iframes is equal to soup dot find all of i'll want to fetch all the iframe tags so i'll say iframe now let's run the program okay so nothing is being fetched here mm, that's because i haven't printed anything so let's see print of iframes now i'll run the program again okay as you can see it has fetched two iframes okay so iframe number one has source uh, wikipedia.org and uh, iframe two has fingster.com it is a list so let's iterate over this list for iframe in iframes mm, print iframe sorry there was a typo so i'll run again okay as you can see both the iframes are being printed now uh, if you have a look at it within the iframe we have this document and within that there is this html tag so uh, if you try to access the html tag within this let's say um, using something like iframe dot find of html and 
and uh, I'll just print it off. Now when you run this, it says name HTML is not defined. Okay, sorry, H it is telling HTML variable is not defined. So now let's run the program. So it returns none, if you can see. It says that there is no HTML tag present in the file like that. So why does this happen? Here, if you see, you can see that the, within the document, there is this HTML tag, but uh, in our code, when we try to execute it, it says that there are no HTML tags. So let's have a look at the HTML file to understand it better. So if you have a look at the HTML file, there is no document embedded in the HTML code as such. There is no, uh, new html tag embedded in the html file as such so it is say, saying none in order to fix this or if you want to access the value within this particular web page through the iframe then what you have to do is you have to get the value of this source yes this one and then you have to access this particular source using the response uh, library after accessing the web page i mean using the requests library and after accessing the web page you have to parse that particular web page and only after that you can find the contents within that web page so let's try to fetch the source elements i mean uh, this the source attributes from the iframe tag to do this we'll say source is equal to iframe of src let's print it and see if things are being fetched or not okay so if you can see both the urls are being printed that is these are being fetched now let's say to access this we have to say response is equal to requests of src sorry requests dot get of src now we'll say if response dot status underscore code equal to equal to 200 if you get a particular if we get the right response that that is when the contents are being fetched what we'll do is we'll do whatever we want to do or whatever we want to fetch from the pages so let's say these two pages contain a privacy policy if you check uh, see this one so i want to fetch the url of this privacy policy let's say and even this one contains a privacy policy if you see yes so let's say i want to fetch the url that is pointing to the prime uh, privacy policy now uh, let's inspect the page and understand it better say inspect mm, this is the iframe and here uh, i'll look out for privacy policy so i can see that i have to look out for an uh, anchor tag and uh, the value of the anchor tag should be privacy policy okay and now let's look at this one i'll say inspect so here again the it is an href attribute it, it is an anchor tag with the href attribute and the value of that should be privacy policy now let's try to script it mm. so let's say soup underscore source is equal to response dot text oh, sorry beautiful soup of 
response.txt, comma. The parser that we'll be using is HTML parser. Now, because privacy policy uh, had occurred only once in both the web pages, we can use find instead of find all. So I'll say soup underscore source dot uh, find of the ones with the uh, a attribute, I mean a tag and uh, the ones who will have the value of the text as privacy policy. Uh, let's so this is the we are fetching the anchor tag here. So let's say anchor tag is equal to this one. So now within this anchor tag we have to fetch the href attribute which this href attribute contains the value of that particular url so we'll say anchor tag of href now let's run the program okay so if you see this has fetched us the URL of both the uh, URL of the privacy policies of both the websites. If specified text is equal to privacy policy here directly, it has worked. But anyways, it is a good practice to import uh, regex and to have something like uh, re dot compile of dot star because at times uh, uh, the anchor tags they can have the some spaces here for example if I print an anchor tag if I print those anchor tags so there were missing braces here which you've given now let's run the program okay so in this case if you can see there is uh, no space here or there are no other characters here so that had worked text is equal to privacy policy um, let's say if there was a space here space privacy space policy space this wouldn't have worked so when you're working with many websites instead of uh, giving the string directly it's always a better practice to have it embedded uh, like to use it as a regular expression and match it against it so let's say href and let's run the program okay so this is how we get the contents from the iframe using beautiful soup i hope this has been informative thank you so much for watching do subscribe to us to get more useful content